have a <clears throat> master built cake freezer. I don't know if you can hear, it's <laughs> trying to whine, but it's not being very successful. It definitely is. But in here, there's all sorts of condensation. This is all wet. If we pull this forward, there's moisture, there's water in there too. Because that's not the regular alarm sound. This is supposed to be really sounding off in a different way. So, temperature probes. I'm gonna end up changing this controller, I think. I've got, I think I have this exact one, but I've got one that'll work with the defrost. At least it looks like it failed functioning, right? It's not failed and not cooling, it's failed open or closed. That's a setting in there. You can have it that if if the probes lose contact or something, do you want it to fail open or fail closed? So this way it'll just keep running. Well, I'm gonna leave this plugged in for the moment. Let's go see what we got. Okay, this is the original. All right, you had a line in. Then you had a cooling circuit with a compressor and a fan. And then you had a defrost circuit, which was opposite, and two probes, an evaporator probe and a room temperature probe. So this is, let me show you this, it can be easier. It's almost identical, okay? So we're gonna go T6, low temp, electric defrost, temperature ended with fan control. So the only difference to this one is, so you've got your line in, you got your supply, right? Powering the clock. Then you've got your line in, which is running to just the cooling circuit. And you can see they're opposite the defrost circuit. So fan and compressor goes there. You do need to mind where the uh, five amp, where the five amp switch is and the knot because the fan has to be on the five amp switch. And on this new unit, it shows another line in running the defrost. So I haven't connected that yet. Um, I believe what I'm gonna have to do is jump this over. And I'm not actually gonna jump it, I'm gonna sever the wire with a Wago back here and then I'm just gonna run one here and one there. But before I do that, I'm gonna just verify that it doesn't do this internally, which I don't think it does, but I'm gonna leave this line off. I'm gonna fire up the unit, put it in the cool, make sure everything cycles on, and then I'll put it in a defrost, set my parameters, put it in a defrost, and I'm guessing my defrost is not gonna actually cycle on until I put a line on. All right, I've got my guy on the roof cleaning the coils, so there's actually no power. Um, I mean, there's power to here, but to the actual equipment on the roof, there's not. So, we're going to go ahead and set some parameters, and then we'll take readings here to see what's open and what's not. All right, let me show you why this probe is, why this controller is super cool. Uh, XR60C, I didn't show you this earlier, but... This tells you what it replaces, and there's X star 60C. So that shows it's an electrical, time initiated, temperature terminated, and if that fan delay and control should have two probes connected. So I have the probes connected, and then what you do is you just hold the down button. And when you hold that down, it looks at the probes, sees what's going on, and then it sets itself properly. So it set it for NTC, so it knew what type of probes it was. Uh, and then we just set it for the right temperature and I dial it down to zero and boom I heard the liquid line solenoid open up but again our unit's off upstairs so we don't have any power yet and my coil temperature likely is not cold enough to bring on the uh, bring on the fans so we'll go check on the roof and see how the coil cleaning is going and then 
Hopefully this thing's good to go. Let me start from the beginning, in case you ever have to do this. So when you power it on, you press the down arrow. Okay, now it's gonna sense how many probes, what kind of probes, and it's gonna put itself in a, okay, now you press this TC button. And here's where you pick which one you're running. Remember, we're replacing a TR60, which is TC6. TC6, set, boom. Now it's gonna redo its thing. We're gonna go on a little bit of a delay, which we can go in and change all this stuff. Fans, fans, compressor. So there you go. So I am going to get into the parameters and make sure the defrosts are set proper, but I mean that's how simple this unit is. It's a really great plug and play guy. And yes, I did have to put a jumper across for the defrost here. Uh, we're going to let this really pull down, then I'm going to put it in a manual defrost. And we'll pull amp draw on that yellow wire, because that's what it is. So we're going to let it pull down to zero first. All right. So we are beautiful. So it actually set for negative three. So we shut off at negative three and kept cooling to negative four. I've put it in and out of a defrost. Uh, we were pulling appropriate amps on the defrost here. So yeah, good to go.